Hi guys, Aceface back with another Tyranny video for you and today this is going to be a general update. So it's now the 1st of August and Feast Fest is finished. Please do, if you haven't already, please do go and check out Mike Scott's channel. All the work that he's done over the last month on his Tyranid Swarm it has been amazing and loads of other people got involved. It's been a really cool month, one of my favourite competitions well clearly because it's tyranny based but it's been it's been a lot of fun I've thoroughly enjoyed it so thank you for setting the challenge mike i've got a lot more done than i would have done without it so i appreciate it and um, so thanks very much so i won't dwell too much on 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 the last month um but just quickly bring you up to speed so last month we completed all of the sky black formation in a week and also painted the herodule super heavy from Forge World so really really cool month got loads done and last week which is why I didn't have any videos up was I had a competition that came out of nowhere so I played in Battle Brothers and used the Sky Black formation which was a nice coincidence but it was awesome to get a chance to use it um, and we came fourth we we should have come second we missed out on two points um, due to fortunately um, the, the team that we played disputed a rule, we couldn't find the right rule at the time and due to that we missed out on the points. But these things happen, you know, it's not the end of the world, we move on, it's just a game. So going into August, what have I got planned for August? Well, I'm hoping to get involved in the Star Wars Hammer competition with um, Martin McNeil. I'll put the link to his channel below. Um, I'm still waiting on some parts um, to see whether I can get involved or not. We'll have to wait and see. The plan is there, but we'll have to have to see what comes from it. But come what may, do jump over to Martin's channel, have a look, see what he's doing. He's getting up to uh, a lot of cool stuff. So jump over there, give him a like, give him a sub, and show him some support. Um, so hopefully I'll be doing that. Other than that. I'll be very much working on getting up a lot more tactics videos for the Tyranids. I'm hoping to revisit my series on how to beat certain armies because I know a lot of people enjoyed those videos and now we're in 7th edition I can put a different, bit of a different spin on them so I look forward to them coming up as well. Hopefully going to be getting a couple of bat reps in over the next month which will be good get a chance to get the tuners back on the table and try a few different things so I look forward to them I'm again hoping that end of this month beginning of next month I will start work on the bio titan on the um, Harafan that's really in the distance for me because I've got a lot of things that are coming up before that but I have started putting a few little bits of preparation into getting that guy ready to start to clean up, to assemble and to paint. So that is coming, watch this space. And then what I've been doing is just working on uh, some just general Tyranid stuff. So I've been working on some some Xanthropes, um, trying to, 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 to get the uh, the technique of the glowing brain, so kind of reverse highlight style um, on there. So that's kind of what I've been working on. And then I've uh, been doing some more of these guys, but I'm not going to batch paint them. I'm going to paint them slowly but surely and get them to the finish that I'm really happy with. So that's the first one. Got loads more of them to do. Going to work on some lictors this month as well. So you get get to see some some lictors and all their funkiness because they are awesome models. And the thing that I'm probably going to be spending the most time working on over the next couple of weeks is a little bit of an ambitious project. I am trying to come up with a Tyranid style Imperial Knight. Um, so something very bizarre, very different from anything else I've tried, um, but I want to come up with a way that I can excusably use an Imperial Knight in my Tyranid list and I won't do it just through normal means because I am a fluffy player as much as my list today and I struggle to accept having an Imperial Knight in my army. So what I'm trying to come up with, um, and inspired by another guy, I can't remember what his name is, but he has a blog and I think it's called Fifth Dimension, I believe, or Fourth Dimension, not sure, but I will put a link to his blog below, I'll put the link um, and you can check out what he did and that's been very much my inspiration but I'm coming up with a massive 
bio-construct style Tyranids to form as my Imperial Knight. Um, I've started, make, started doing a bit of work on it, so I will show you this guy. Uh, let's take the Xanthrope out of the way. Might have to pan back because this guy is pretty huge. But let's, right, here we go. Yep, yeah, it's too big. Let's try and bring it back. Let's bring the camera up. Just about squeeze him in. This guy's massive. So, very, very much a work in progress. Early, early stages. Um, this guy's, I've only really just scratched the surface of this conversion. Um, and it's going to be a real tricky one because I'm going to be using a lot of green stuff on this. And I'm very much not the best with green stuff. I like to kind of chuck it in just to connect things or to fill up holes, not to actually do sort of real sculpting work, which is what I'm going to have to do with a lot of this. But here we go. Anyway, so you can probably see at the moment it's quite clearly a Turvagon, which is, makes up the majority of this model. Straightened out his legs. I've um, made his um, rib cage area a lot wider by filling it with green stuff and some tin foil underneath to fill out the, the gap. I've used a, a Trigon centerpiece, Carnifix shoulder pads for this, but obviously they're, they're carapaces. Uh, Carnifix head see there um, and a lot and lot of green stuff so let's turn around have a little look at it back so you can see still the, the very much the tyranny um, sort of stacks either side more carnifex panels in the middle to fill things out um, and there's the, like, the turvican crest on the top um, need to do so much more work on this guy I can't even begin to tell you, you can still see the tin foil in there so loads more green stuff I've run out at the moment so I'm kind of waiting on more to come and try and bulk out his legs a little bit if I can otherwise they may be a bit spindly but I'm going to see what I can do um, loads more kind of filing down of this green stuff smoothing it out more green stuff to go on top to kind of give me a better finish these are harpy or crone spikes in the side there um, and then we've got, I've kind of started work on the arm that will have the gun that um, which is the early stages kind of used to connect to there. That's his arm, but I'll have to beef that out and then sort of the gun connector will kind of go there. Um, but I think he's going to be a lot of fun to do. Um, I think already he's starting to resemble that kind of stance or size of an Imperial Knight. I've ordered a base, so I've got an Imperial base coming on the way, which will be cool. And uh, much more to come on this guy. So uh, please do like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.